Let's begin our final discussion. The final gamble. Now, there's just one thing to wonder about. Whether or not we can target the remaining number eight coffin. Well, what do you mean? There's clearly no other option. I mean, there's only two glowing coffins left, and one has a hint. If I'm in the blue six coffin, you already have your answer. If we look at it plainly, Midori must really be in the number three coffin. But why is Midori so full of confidence? It's like he's expecting not to lose. Are you not curious about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin? Is there some way of using our hint? Listen, we can't accept a loss. We've got the dumbest regrets on our backs. Hey, shouldn't we be thinking about whose side Meister is on? All right, we do these clockwise again. We look at it plainly. Midori must be in the number three coffin. By all means, we should have the answer. Uh, but something does seem strange. If Midori planned ahead to this extent, we have no chance. Just how deeply did he consider? Kana, calm down. Has our opponent made any kind of mistake? Like a careless statement, for instance. A careless statement? Listen, we can't accept a loss. We got the dumbest regrets on our backs. The dumbest were created to kill us, but... That don't matter none. Kurumata, Hinako, Hayasaka, Anzu, they were our allies in the end. We're gonna show him the way to that. Kitaro. Are you not curious about why Midori chose Anzu's coffin? Because it's probably the only safe one. To Midori, indeed, choosing any of them would have been fine. But of all things, he chose Anzu's. I'm surely there's a great significance to it. Alice, what reason would that be? Uh, you're asking me? Uh, like, give me a sec. Uh, no doubt, it's because Anzu's coffin was the only one who knew the contents of from the start. True, Anzu's coffin was the only one like that. Shouldn't we be thinking about whose side Meister's on? I don't think we should trust him. He's just acting impartial, but really he's on Seaweed Head's side. And Shorty too. I don't want to suspect her, but maybe she was with the bad guys. Jin. I, I mean, it has to be, right? Shorty must have worked with Seaweed Head or she couldn't have blended in as a fake. He has a point. If both Meister and Hinako were on Midori's side, then there may be traces of them preparing things for this banquet. Midori's so full of confidence. It's like he's not suspecting to lose. Midori was shaken up when you brought up the consent form, right, Sarah? And yet now he's calm. That must be because he isn't going to die if we pick another number three coffin. He's lying about not fearing death. He just has a guarantee he won't lose. A guarantee he won't lose? Is there some smart way of using our hint? I know it's a waste to use a precious hint, but something smells fishy. We got to use the hint somewhere. Maybe Kataro, because they're, they both have, they're both talking about allies, right? Muscle Gorilla, don't be fooled! What's that, Jim? You say they were all allies, but Shorty might have been an enemy. I guess so, but even Hinako was killed. I want to believe in her too, but will we find the answer that way? Uh, will we really win? <clears throat> Sorry, L let me think this over. Taro seems to have reworked his statement. Well, let's hear it. True, Hinako might have been our enemy, but if that's the case, why'd Hinako get killed? I just ain't sure. What was Hinako trying to say in her last moments? A pathetic not being able to remember. He, he can't remember. Then maybe I should use that again. Okay, let's use that again. Gonna help me remember again, huh? Yeah, look at this lantern. Eh? Uh? Oh, I'm starting to remember now. All right, let's think about any statements that seem curious, just like before. What's this shaking? You're kidding, right? No way. Why me? This. C this one? Maybe she was gonna say this can't be happening. Yeah, go for it. Taro, please add that to your statement. You got it. All right. Now. Yeah, that's the one. A careless statement. That's exactly what that is. What did you just say? Huh? Uh, I said this. Um, um, this might sound strange, but maybe Hinako didn't mean to say this can't be happening. 
but rather this coffin. Coffin, you say? Yes, Hinako was working with Midori. Maybe her coffin wasn't planned to be selected? And yet, it was! She was betrayed! What does this mean? The reason she thought she wouldn't be selected, do you know it, Sarah? Uh... Because it was a non-glowing coffin. That would take her out of selection from the start. But Hinako's coffin was glowing, was it not? Huh? Then that idea is wrong. Mm. Mm. Is it wrong? Thanks to Sarah? Hinako had hot cocoa, right? Yeah, and she splashed it on my coffin. What if the reason Hinako had that hot cocoa was to pour it on her own coffin? Ah! Then she splashed mine as a distraction? No wonder. I was thinking, how many cups of cocoa does she need? Ah! That's shady. You should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, my bad. Meister, tell me something. What is it? While this device was being set up, is it possible to trade coffins? Hmm. Mm. Well now, I suppose you could... Say what?! I locked him when starting, yes? Until then, everybody could do as they wished. Then maybe... The incident happened just before the banquet began, while all the coffins were buried underground. Ah! At that time, Midori came out of his new coffin and called Hinako to trade coffins with her. Well, would you stop messing with me? What an outrageous trick! But why did Hinako make the trade? I'm sure she didn't necessarily know everything about how it worked. And she didn't even consider that she would actually be betrayed. Hmm. Well, how about it, Midori? Hmm? This trade thing wasn't in your plan, right? At first, you wanted to simply enjoy the game. But you started to fear you'd die. So you called Hinako and swapped with her. Hmm. Mm hmm. So what? You're acting all proud like you've won? But what does knowing that do for you? Huh? You swapped with Hinako. So you must be in a non-glowing coffin. <laughs> There's three of those, right? Oh! Just take a look. You have to pick me from among the three non-glowing coffins. And you have no more clues. <laughs> that can't be! Oh, yes. You could use your last hint. But whatever you pick, it'll just be red. What? Go ahead and discuss it all you like. This is exactly what I intend to do. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, don't just be silent. Well, from what we've worked out, Midori's in one of the three non-glowing coffins. Midori should be in the coffin that Hinako was originally in. Kiki's coffin is also one of the unglowing coffins, isn't it? I think we have to use our hint. Okay. Kiki's coffin was also in one of the unglowing coffins, isn't it? We can be sure of that, can't we? To think we've come this far not knowing whether Kiji is in there. Well, from what we've worked out, Midori is in one of the three non-glowing coffins. We just have to choose. One of the three. But how can we tell him apart anymore? Midori should be in the coffin that Hinako was originally in. There must be something, like, uh, like it's a little cocoa colored, say? I've been observing them the whole time, and no. Ugh! I think we just have to use our hint. See, we had a liar. It's not guaranteed that it'll be red. That's true. There's Kiji's coffin. Y yeah! Hmm. I don't want to think about it, but if Kiji's really in there, after getting executed, it'll show blue. But Midori isn't considering that at all. Hmm. Why, why is that? It's no use. I can't see any options other than using our hint. And if it's only going to come up red like Midori says, it'll be one in three. And since Jin's coffin is already known, if we miss, Jin's life is really forfeit this time. We just have to try. Jin, 
I'm ready. I'll be okay. Whatever the result is. I want us to stand against this together. Uh, Jin. We stand against Midori. I'm prepared to. The final hint. I'll use the hint on a non-glowing coffin. Okay, so here's our options. We know Jin's in here. We don't know who's in here. Eeny, meeny, miny, four. Mm, hang on. No, now I'm nervous. Trusting my gut got Hayasaka killed. Uh, maybe funny lucky number seven? Use it. This is the last hint. If I don't learn something, there's nothing we can do. Still, I summon my resolve. And press the lamp. Came up blue. Blue means human, which means it ain't Midori, right? Oh, it's Mr. Policeman's coffin. <laughs> no way. So Mr. Policeman was really executed then? Uh, Kiji, what's wrong? Kiji escaped. He escaped. What does this blue mean? What is inside? I don't know, but Kiji has done something for us. Uh, two coffins left, Midori. Sarah. Now it's just one and two. I don't think there's any more we can figure out from discussion. We just have to choose one. I believe we'll win. This time, we'll defeat you, Midori. I choose, now I choose four. We'll definitely find Midori. Is Coffin 4 the one? I've decided. The person inside here is either Midori or Ranmaru. If I miss, Jin and Ranmaru both die. My hands tremble, even knowing I have no choice but to press it. Please, give me courage. Good luck, Big Sis Sarah. Do it, Sarah. I'm sure you can win. I selected the coffin. Oh, well, is that the right one? Fuck! Oh. Seriously? Please, somebody! Save Jin and Sarah! It can't be. This... Too bad. You hit Ranmaru. It's all over. Could protect Ranmaru. Or Jin. I'm sorry. 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 I can't save anyone. You can't give up, Sarah. Huh? What's up? Uh, the voice. Mm. No, it's just an illusion. Besides, even if you tell me not to give up, it's clear which coffin Jin is in. Mm. It ain't like you think, Sarah. To pick Midori? Damn it! What's going on? Seven coffins should show red, right? Didn't Kiji escape? He must have put that in there instead. <laughs> Seems it was effective. Our final trick. Trick? Katara, what did you do? <laughs> When'd you decide that was Kiji's coffin? <laughs> Are you saying that it's Jin's coffin? No way! During the final coffin check... Did you do something with Jin's coffin? That's inconceivable! Then go ahead! Pick the one you believe in! <coughs> What's going on? There's so much I don't understand. Even still... 
Midori is backed into a corner. I'll give you the explanation later. This is the final trap me, Mai, and Keiji put together. If you let him think calmly, Midori might notice what's up too. You gotta thoroughly corner him. Refute his ideas. Break his brain. I have to pick statements of Midori's that seem the most refutable. I'll make him unable to think this over properly. Why is that coffin blue? Th there's no way Keiji's inside! Jin being inside is even more unthinkable! Uh... <laughs> there's no way Keiji's inside? Why were you able to say that? We saw the cremation system being activated. Shouldn't it be the most natural for you to think that Keiji is inside? <laughs> Foolish! It must have been a deception! Kiji escaped from the coffin! Uh, the, the, the control system worked! Uh, and the victim video is playing was proof of that, yes? Those dying moments of the six dummies? Uh, except we already know one of those dying moments wasn't real. The dying moments of the six dummies? That's wrong, Midori! Hinako's video showed the death of the real Hinako. Someone separate from the dummies, Hinako. Be quiet! Why do those details matter now? Well, what's important is that the coffin control system functioned properly. Because the victim videos were set to play as a reward for activating it. What, what about that as a reward? At any rate, the real question is Kiji's actions afterward. Kiji must have learned how the banquet works. I bet he heard it from Maple. Or maybe Shin? That traitor. I, he couldn't have heard it from Shin. The Shin AI was only in the control room on 4 or 5. There's no way Keiji could have talked to him while he was stuck on floor 4. <laughs> then he heard it from Maple. That settles it. Having heard about the banquet, Keiji began his scheme to ensnare me. Uh, I'm sure he put something else in the coffin. Or maybe he can just use my doll as the replacement for the corpse. The coffins identify contents by type of collar, all told. Uh, contents are identified by type of collar. That's the first I'm hearing of this. Right? Because it's the first I'm telling you. After all, both humans and dolls were reduced to cinders by the cremation system, right? So the only things that would, can withstand the heat would remain in the coffin. Namely, the, the, the collar. What? Keiji must have thought like so. Keiji figured he'd make use of a certain collar. My collar! Which was in the control room! Not even realizing that's just what I wanted him to do! Uh, how? He used your collar, Midori? That's impossible. Because it would have had to take his own off. Your collar would show the same as the dummies. Red. But what actually came up was blue. How do you intend to explain that contradiction? Why, you! You're being so annoying right now! Don't you- I don't know- I don't know! So I'm thinking about it! And, and you're getting in my way! Don't worry. There's only one answer that makes sense. What? It's simple. Your reasoning has been way off the mark. Nice blinking action, by the way. I did it. I refuted them all. <laughs> From the beginning, Midori has been thinking that coffin didn't contain Kiji. But rather, his collar from the control room. So he was convinced it would be red. <clears throat> You're saying it's all wrong? Then who's in there? I is it Kiji? It, it definitely can't be Jin. Jin, that above all would be impossible. Yes, I I'm certain. Uh, Mm. You have no allies to support you when you're faced with a dilemma. Yes, you kill them all yourself, Midori. Now, choose. Decide your fate, Midori. Alright! I'll choose! Meister! The coffin I'm picking is... I see. This one? Meister selected the coffin. Now, will it be the right one? I think 
to Sarah. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm scared. Fuck you. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, huh? I hate you! Jin! Oh, Jin! I see. I'm so glad. Jin! Thank goodness! Jin! What about Mr. Policeman? Huh? The blue coffin! That wasn't mine! That's Mr. Policeman's coffin, right? Is he inside? KG's in there? I see. If he didn't use Midori's collar, I can only imagine he's inside. But... Did he escape? Don't... don't tell me. After he escaped, he went back in? I was passed out? Uh, silent the whole time. So as to deceive Midori. Uh, uh, huh. <gasps> Hands is back! Hands! Hands! Hands. Hands. Hands! You did good, Sarah. That's the hands from the beginning! Oh! You did good, Sarah. Uh, Long time no see, everybody. Kiji Shinogi? Oh, hold on! Why are you simply here? You survived? Sorry about that. Took some time getting here. Uh, are you the real deal? Might be a ghost. Wanna check? GG! Yeah, I'm real. It's a long story, but basically, Ren Maru locked me in the charging room. Why? You should have told us sooner! Sorry, sorry. I worried you, huh? You did good too, Jen. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> if you'd have come sooner, we'd be. I've been listening to things unfold over the transceiver, but me being here wouldn't have helped anything. <laughs> now, we can talk later. Do what you need to do, Sarah. Defeat Midori. <gasps> a, a rule violation. Hmm? I finally realized just now. You used it. Mishima's collar. Mishima's head, which... Miley failed to collect. His collar was still on his severed head. And I still haven't found that collar. So, you're the one who had it, Kiji. And you put it in that coffin. And? That's foul play! Using a missing collar from another floor isn't a valid part of the game. It's against the rules. Mm. Mishima's collar is a, is a rule violation. C clear foul play! You, at least in your last moments, honestly accept defeat. No, Midori's right. Yeah. Mishima's collar is an illegal item that was never meant to be used. To dodge execution with it. Now, that's unfair. Rule breakers will be executed. Then, the rule breaker who put the collar in the coffin. That of Kiji. Mm. Uh, what nonsense is that? This can't be, surely. Even after he survived and we reunited, he'll be executed for breaking the rules? Ugh. We remain undaunted. Ugh. So, you were prepared for this? <laughs> How disappointing. Even though there's a way you could be saved. Oh. I'm not interested in a finished game, you see. Once I win, I cease to care about who played dirty. Don't listen to him, Sarah. I promise you, if I win, I won't expose your transgression and I won't punish you. Choose Jin, Sarah. Don't listen to a word he says. 
I'm saying that if you pick Jin, I'll let Kichi go, Sarah! This is the last choice. Really, truly the last. Uh, fuck you. Okay, once I push it, it'll all end. I'll save Jin, defeat Midori, Keiji will... It's alright, Sarah. Keiji. My hands tremble. But... To the last of my strength, I selected the coffin. Oh my! Will it be the right one? Uh, 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 don't screw with me! Sarah! I gave you a compromise! And yet, I knew I should have called it quits! Big death would be so terrifying! Won? I don't know. Did we won? Well done! You hit Midori! With this, the challenging team wins! However, it seems you'll need to pay the price. No. Protect Keiji Shinogi! We won't let you do that! Rule violations will be punished. <sighs> if you resist, we'll take you all out, got it? I still won't move aside. I won't let you kill any more of my allies. Hmm. Huh. Ain't no need, Sarah. What are you talking about? I'll tell you everything. Huh? Oh! What? Sorry for fooling you this whole time. This is... What I really am. What do you mean? I don't get what's going on at all. I ain't... <clears throat> I ain't the real Kataro. I'm a doll, so fallen prepared. A doll? Keiji, you look bewildered yourself. Honestly, yeah. Because I just did what he'd expect I'd do. I put Midori's collar in the coffin. Right. After we put the collar in, we split up to act separately. Keiji went to floor five, and we went to the cemetery. Why did you go back there? Truth is, I was at my limit. My stab wound was deeper than I thought. You can't! Kataro! Up. We're gonna meet Sarah and the others, right? If you stay here, you won't you get burnt to death? I'm sorry. It seems it's too late for me. Is that what Safalan told you? I don't want this! It's because of me! Don't cry. There's no time. What I need you to do is... I can't do it alone without you, Kataro. You won't be alone. I got a doll. Safalan will help you. Get the ID card. Use the AI saver with my doll. But then, what about you? Are you planning to die here without even knowing? <laughs> It'll be the ultimate camouflage. That's ridiculous! Please! Now get going! Bye! It, it can't be! The inside coffin number seven was. the real Kataro? Yeah. No! Kataro, I... Jin, my, you got out? Muscle Gorilla, so he already... I'm sorry. I'm guessing he was burning that coffin then.
Soprano. Jim, you're a big boy, right? Sarah, Connor, you gotta protect him, right? Stick with your allies. <laughs> but, Soprano, he was all alone. We couldn't even talk. Tell him anything. I. No, he knew. I might just be a copy, but even now, I feel like I'd be willing to die for you. What are you saying? You can't! My good fortune? Or is my heart being weak? To tell the truth, I wavered lots of times. I even thought about abandoning everybody. Even so, uh, I couldn't. It wasn't kindness or anything. It just yielded. That part of me wanted to survive, even if it meant killing someone else. <laughs> um, so, I'm happy. That I could come to your aid. His eyes are darkening. Muscle Gorilla? What's wrong? Muscle Gorilla! Mr. Kataro! Thanks. Jim. Mr. Kataro! Mr. Kataro! And it's over! All the dolls have run out of battery. Next will be your final game. The winner will be decided. Uh, no, it won't. Huh? We'll escape. We won't do as you expect us to. Well now, I look forward to that. Janabushi. What? Kiji Shinogi. Mm. Kana Kazuchi. Yes? Alice Yabusame. Mm. And Sarah Chidwin. Mm. The five of you will have the final match. Until then, give some careful thought to the ways you might outwit each other. It's just me left. Out of all people. Why? I... I still want to live. I owe this life to Kataro and all of you. We'll surely bring you back. Thank you. Sarah. Mm. Just wait for us. Final chapter, part one. End. To be continued in Final Chapter Part 2. Well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more, please subscribe. More content, um, soon. I'm going to take a week off because I'm going to need some time to decompress. But more content is on the way. So be there, and I'll see you next time. And as always, remember that you are loved. Stay safe, everyone.